I am honored to be here with you today because, let's face it, you accomplished something I never could. <laughs> if I get through this speech today, it'll be the first time I actually finish something here at Harvard. How many of you remember your first lecture here at Harvard? I was running late for class, so I threw on a t-shirt, and I didn't realize until afterwards that I put it on inside out and backwards, and my tag was sticking out the front. I couldn't figure out why no one in class would talk to me. Except for this one guy, KX Jin. He just went with it. We started doing our problem sets together, and now he runs a big part of Facebook. And that, class of 2017, is why you should be nice to people. But my best memory from Harvard is meeting Priscilla. I had just launched this prank website, Face Smash, and the ad board wanted to see me. Everyone thought I was going to get kicked out. My parents drove up here to help me pack my stuff. My friends threw me a going away party. Who does that? As luck would have it, Priscilla was at that party with her friends, and we met in line for the bathroom in the Foho Bell Tower, and in what must be one of the all-time most romantic lines, I turned to her and said, I'm getting kicked out in three days, so we need to go on a date quickly. The challenge for our generation is to create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. I remember that night I launched Facebook from that little dorm in Kirkland House. I was excited to help connect the Harvard community, but one day someone would connect the whole world. The thing is, it never even occurred to me that that someone might be us. My hope was never to build a company. I wanted to have an impact. The idea of a single eureka moment is a dangerous lie. It makes us feel inadequate because we feel like we haven't had ours yet. And it prevents people with seeds of good ideas from ever getting started in the first place. In our society, we often don't take on big things because we're so afraid of making mistakes that we ignore all the things wrong today if we do nothing. The greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. So before you walk out those gates, one last time, and as we sit here in front of Memorial Church, I'm reminded of a prayer, Misha Berach, that I say whenever I face a big challenge, that I sing to my daughter, thinking of her future when I tuck her in at night. And it goes, may the source of strength who's blessed the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. I hope you find the courage to make your life a blessing. <laughs>